What's going on guys? Back for another video here today. And today we're going to be doing a Jaguars rebuild. And uh, today, you know, this team team is looking kind of funky. But, you know, we did just do a, a uh, Giants rebuild. So, you know, what can be any worse? By looking at this team, we're going to need some replacements, obviously. I think everywhere besides the offensive line need a little bit of fix up. Uh, tight end needs a little change. Uh, defensive side of the ball, you know, we definitely need probably probably some corner difference here. Um, probably going to need a free safety and obviously right outside linebacker. I might get Clowney. I'm not sure for that right outside linebacker spot, but I'm not sure yet. But I'll see you guys when we get our first trade. Okay, here's the first trade. We're getting ready to Cole. Um, we're going to trade him at a fifth for obviously an offensive lineman here and uh, dock it to uh, obviously help out this offensive line. Okay, here is the tr next trade we're doing. We're doing Woods because we don't need him because we have a super superstar uh, rookie at that position that we could replace him with. And this right in that we don't need for Quentin Nelson to replace our actual right guard because I'm going to trade him because he's $11 million in cap hit. And I just don't want to worry about that for future reference. Okay, here is the trade. We're going to be getting rid of our old right guard because this guy has $16 million in cap hit that I'm not trying to worry about for the rest of this rebuild. And the guy's replacement, obviously, already. Uh, a lot cheaper. Um, but we're also getting rid of our number one corner. And um, this guy right here, obviously, for the purpose, he is 29, so he's not the future of this team at all. And he's normal development, so really there's no purpose to have him on the team. But we're going to get a safety here. We're probably going to flip all the way to uh, free safety. Star development pre should do pretty, pretty nice for this team. Uh, but, yeah. This is pretty much a salary dump because we do get a lot more money. We save about, if I did, it's about 23 cap hit that we do not have to worry about. Okay, here's the probably first and probably only signing in free agency here. And that is going to be Clowney because he's going to play uh, right outside linebacker for us. Okay, here's the deal. We are trading Eifert the tight end because we don't need this tight end. Um... And this left in, because I guess they need left in. Plus, it just gives rid of the cap. And this backup running back just to help out the trade for this young corner from the Patriots. That obviously Jackson that will help out this this secondary a lot better. I don't trade for him much, and I'm just gonna trade for him here because you know it's an easy corner to trade for. You start development, you know he's gonna get better. But we're gonna trade obviously this end that we don't need. Straight up for Kevin King. Obviously, I know him as obviously a Packers fan. He, he led the team in interceptions last year. The man is pretty good, in my opinion. A lot of people don't like Kevin King. He is an injury-prone kind of guy. I like him a lot. I think he gets un really underrated for a lot of the stuff that some people just don't see. But, yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, hey. you know He's definitely going to come on this team and be a starter this season. Probably at the nickel position chances are okay here we are i guess we had two fifth round picks this year so we're trading our old corner now got replaced by kevin king he's obviously this guy's gotten a lot older so just don't need him on the team we're trading him a d tackle and a fifth round this year for daniels to be our right guard if we do need a first round pick we can obviously trade for one next year if we really need one that bad but we're going to be trading our old right guard and old starting corner and a first round next year for Joku to come in to be our starting tight end. Okay, here is the team for year one. You could be like, okay, why are you starting this 72? He is young. We're just going to give him the job already. And if we need one that bad, we can draft one or pick one out of free agency if there is one there. But uh, same with quarterback kind of in the last video. We ride with this person. You know, He could have a chance to stay because he is start development. Uh, well, I think just start development. I'd be surprised if we have superstar or anything. But I'm pretty sure he just has start development. And, um, you know, chances are he might go for, you know, somebody else. But we'll see how we do it. I say this. If we make the playoffs, I'll keep him for two years. And maybe look at somebody else the third year. It might hurt me, but I don't know. We'll see how he does this year, actually. I'm not going to say that, actually. We'll see how his season use stats looks like. And if, if he didn't do that well, we could probably replace him. Um, 
with some rookie. If we don't have a rookie this year, obviously, in the draft, we probably won't, you know, we'll probably have to roll with them either way. But uh, chances are I'll probably sign a backup running back, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So actually, we did go to the playoffs as 8-8, eight eight, but we're playing, our, obviously, our the divisional rival that obviously went 12-4. and four. I'm not expecting to win this game at all. So we'll see what happens in this game. But hey, at least we made the playoffs. I guess that's some improvement. But uh, by the looks of this so far, it's not looking too nice. 10 nothing. Can we do anything with it? No, we cannot. We haven't been able to do anything with it this whole time. 13 nothing. They get a pick. They go in. 19 nothing. But they add on to that. Oh, we get a pick. Don't do anything with it. 22 nothing. Finally go down and score. But it's not enough. Okay, the only free agent that we're going to pick up is this guy right here. He has star development, so he will be added to the team. Um, you know, just add in here. Because Colin, you know, just bringing him him. He's up to superstar, so that's big on that end. Um, but besides that, everything looking nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, besides that, I'll see you guys in the draft. Okay, again, kind of like last rebuild. If the guy turns out to be good, we'll start him. But if it's not, you know, then obviously he'll be pushed to the side and we'll keep the same person there. Let's see who turns out, see who he turns out to Look be. Cool. 76, nor, or hidden development. I'm not sure what he's going to be. But he's definitely a starter either way. Um, he's already higher than the other guy, and he's a rookie, so... You know, and even if he has star development, you know, it's whatever. But he's supposed to rank 9 in the class, but we took him here at 21. Great pick. Probably a little too much for this trade, but we do have our future at that position. He only has star development, but he's already higher than, you know, Minchu in one year. So he's definitely going to be a starter. You know, Minchu can go to the Giants and see where he can lead that Giants team. But we're going to take also their tackle here, or their lineman here pretty much and we're gonna flip around the offensive lineman so we have a replacement so that would be good um but uh yeah this would be the trade okay here's the trade we're gonna be trading our old right tackle and a third this year and a third next year for the broncos first round pick this year okay guys here is the team for year two uh, obviously, little changes. Obviously, a new quarterback brought in a new receiver in the offseason. One change to the offensive alignment, alignment to upgrade it. Defensive-wise, not really a single place on this defensive line that's going to be fixed, because or fi defensive in general, I meant to say, uh, because I like everybody here. You know, I, I'd say the one person we might see like, oh, okay, we might replace him is probably Kevin King, but he doesn't look too terrible. Um, but hey, let's see what happens, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Okay, here is the trade. We're going to be trading our left outside linebacker, a fourth this year. Well, that guy that we're obviously going to use, obviously, the outside linebacker, he's not even a starter. And our center for the purpose of, he's $9 million, trying to save some cap. Probably draft a center of probably this Raiders pick, chances are. We'll see. They got six overall. Big news here. I never do this, but we signed Patrick Mahomes. To come and be quarterback for us. We're putting all our money into him. You can tell with the one million there. But hopefully we can do good this coming up here because we got Patrick Mahomes as our quarterback. I feel like I'm a little overpaying, but I'm doing this for the purpose of just the tackle position to get a cheaper one. Uh, we're getting rid of obviously our quarterback because we don't need him now because we have Patrick Mahomes. And our right tackle in a first round next year. Well, he was a backup, by the way, this tackle was, for another tackle that we're going to end up replacing another tackle because that tackle's more expensive. Okay, big trade here. We're trying to go all in into the next year. So we're taking this D tackle, you know, trading him with two second, two, a second this year and a second next year for Saquon to come to this team to be paired with Patrick Mahomes in this offense. If we can, uh, I don't know, we're going to try, you know. We're obviously not going to be able to probably do another year, chances are, because of doing this kind of stuff. But it's just pretty much. Plus, I haven't used Patrick Mahomes, really, besides the Chiefs. So this is a first. So um, I do want to start something that I feel like I'm going to do when I start streaming a lot more. Is I feel like doing a franchise on, like, stream, you know, live and 
not like a rebuild, more like a like a, like play every game, you know, trade, you know, ask for your guys' opinion on trades and stuff like that. You know, for example, that, you know, uh, but tell me down below if you're willing to see that maybe on my uh, Twitch, um, obviously in a couple weeks because I'm not sure what the first video is going to or the first Twitch stream is going to be. We'll see. But anyway, this will be a trade. Okay, here's the trade. We're trading Fournette and a fifth for Kelly from the Colts to come over. Hey, and play next to his actual teammate. Okay, this you know that's gonna be the final piece of the nail the coffin there. And uh, yeah, this will be the team going into the final season. Obviously, bringing in Patrick Holmes is a big piece. And then trading for Saquon. Obviously, I this team picked up that offensive lineman. Um, but that's about it. Defense, we're just going to keep the same. Really not going to touch it. Um, actually, I will trade for a DT, but it's not gonna, I'm not going to show it. It's not going to be not really that worth to show. It's probably going to be some basic one. But I'll see you guys at the playoffs, hopefully, if we make it. Okay, here we are. We're at home. We got home advantage in a first-round bye, and we're playing the Patriots. So, oh, and if you want to know our record, we win 11-5. and five. Yeah, I think I already said it. We're playing the Patriots. Let's see what happens here. They're going to go in and probably score. Yep, they did. See what we can do. We're going to go in and score too. We get an interception. And we're going to go in and score. So up by TD. They miss the kick. And we get three there. So we're up by ten. They're going to go in and score up by three. Before half, can we get anything? Nope. We do get it in the second half, and we can't do anything with it. And they're going to go on and take the lead by four. Let's see what we can do with it. Nothing. Nothing like always, even with Patrick Mahomes. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Get in and score up by three. Who is our quarterback, bro? Can we do go in and score? So back up by three, and they're going to tie the game. So a minute and 50 left, tie game. We have the ball. We absolutely don't do shit with it. 46 seconds, down by three. Okay, here we are. Um, this is the final team. I guess I'll, no, I can't even upgrade him. Um, but this is the final team here. Um, tell, me, tell me down below the next team you want me to do. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Hopefully, I'll probably stream more. There could be a chance um, going into Madden 21 that I don't do rebuilds when it comes to that game in general. For the purpose is it's a lot harder to win on this one than it is like I can be like, oh yeah, I've seen other people do it easily. Well, I ain't those people. So, um, but uh, hey, it's it's whatever they really need to fix this game in general because they make it where some stupid things like make no goddamn sense like how much you want to bet the this team right here or half of my teams would have won a Super Bowl but it, it would have been too easy if it was like that so I know I understand but they really need to fix just the simulation part of it where they need to make it stop being so cheesy on the fucking uh, simming but anyway I hope you guys enjoy. Comment down below the next rebuild you want to see me do. I'm just trying to grind all these rebuilds out and trying to get them all done before Madden 21. Um, I probably should. And then after that, I'll probably... Uh, also, comment down below if you want to see a Jamal Adams Seahawks rebuild. I might low-key do that for the purposes it is a big player and a lot different of a team. And obviously, I saw it already. Uh, because obviously he got traded today. Tell me down below if you want to see that. I'll do it. Um, I'll probably do a lot more videos like that, like where like big people move, or like, and I'll probably go back to 2K rebuilds and maybe do something. I don't know, like bubble rebuilds or something. I don't fucking know. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.